<laughs> Guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Ian and I'm back in this location. I was here a couple of weeks ago. If you have followed my channel for a while, <laughs> there is a link up there where I was at the Olympic Park, which is in that direct direction. And then I stumbled down across into this area, which is, um, it's, a, it's an ethnic museum here in China. So I'm going to go and have a look at that. Uh, you may remember this building over here and in the distance there there's a rather fancy bridge so I'm going to share that with you but first things first I'm going to go into the ethnic museum and what is another glorious day here in Beijing it looks like uh, more of a traditional mountain style I've seen these flags in places like um, Mount Everest base camp and stuff, so maybe that's what this is about. So there's a sign back there explaining what this is. It's like a pilgrimage pass. We shall share it with you. Fantastic buildings here. You can see a white pagoda away in the distance there. An old traditional Tibetan house there. And then what we've got here, I think it is a traditional Tibetan town house or something to that shape. Let's see what it's like. That's was one of the reasons for coming here is the the bridge that I saw that crosses the road. I was hoping to get across that, um, but it's actually closed, so no worries. But you can see it from the side. Yeah, so maybe I share it with you. Looks pretty spectacular. Disappointed, but never be disheartened. There is bound to be something else fantastic here to explore. So. Heart. Join me. <laughs> this weather is beautiful. Beautiful blue sky. celebration of a lot of Tibetan fabric and traditions, traditional dress, traditional way of living. <laughs> so cool. I love that. <laughs> so it's a real celebration of different cultures here in China. Um, a living museum, as they say. Really cool, well worth a visit. This is another beautiful example of, um, I'm guessing, traditional Tibetan type 
here in the middle of Beijing. It's definitely a museum, so obviously they've been built to look like the, the, the real thing. Please have came here. Hope you're enjoying this, because I'm melting once again in the 30 degree heat. Obviously an old mill. A small picnic area with a strange rock formation. But if you look in the distance here, some boats and other traditional parts of the museum, which I am going to go and have a look at. <laughs> but first there's something over here I want to look at. I am in the Chinese Ethnic Cultural Park, which is in the middle of Beijing, and it's right smack bang next to um, the Olympic Park. And it's just a, it's, it's maybe like a, a little bit like a theme park, but it's a celebration of all the different ethnic minorities in China. Uh, and you can see everything here from the Uyghurs to um, Tibetan culture all the way through to different dynasties and stuff so and there's an example of something spectacularly cool there really quite cool spectacular ice cream it's hot again this helps Okay. These are pretty cool, different. Wasn't expecting this type of thing here. Feels more South American, but there's always similarities no matter where you go. Uh, and I suppose this may be one of them. It's pretty cool this, I, I, I mean I, I've been here for five years, six years in Beijing and I've still ne never been here before and you always find great little things in Beijing. Either you stumble on them or people ask you if you've been to such and such a place and this is one of them. So I would definitely recommend this, it's actually uh, it's got a lot to offer, um, even if it is just a, a nice relaxing day strolling around a park. So the disappointing thing is, um, I don't think I'm round a lot of the park. It's really quite big. 
but I've only came for a couple of hours because I'm going to meet someone and for a catch up for some from dinner. Um, so I may have to come back, but I'm not unhappy about that. But I see something over here looks I must see. What? This I've got to see. Coming through this bush. See, I'm across the road, the water from this, and there's a bridge that takes me to that, which I'm going to go on, but I'm right next to this as well. So there's a lot to see. I'm not going to have the time to see it all. I think I'm going to have to come back. But this bridge here is a must see. So I got to see that got inside and it's pretty spectacular as I always say but I can see a wigwam over here at least I think it's a wigwam or a tent wigwams maybe a different part of the world I'm guessing it's very similar technology There's also a celebration of the more modern style temple, the one that we do tend to see around Beijing quite often. And oh, there's the Olympic torch tower and the Olympic tower next to it. So we're very close to the Olympics, the Olympic Park. But you're never gonna beat me Look the other way, what I'm doing ain't easy Bloody ass thing from the people who deceive me Bloody ass break through the way I think that is a very old tree Pick up the pieces and go rearrange I'll be the best above all the rest Put me to the test and Expect nothing less, you check as I'm chest, I'm tapping it next year. You got the venom, a tangible weapon, no coming in second. This life is a lesson, he gave it a new engine from him, it's a blessing. New focus, no guessing, just hold an obsession, I'll let this possession. So it turns out there is actually two sides to it. This is another entrance, so the actual um, park is split by this busy road. So there is one side and then the other side, which unfortunately I don't have time to come back and have a look at today because I need to go somewhere to meet someone for some dinner. But certainly in that park, there looks like there's big white pagodas and some other exciting stuff. So I'm definitely going to come back and go there again. Be back here for a third time. This is Ian. Saying to you, thank you as always for tuning in to my channel. And I bid you farewell. Take care. Peace out. A strong will, strong mind.